In this step, I'm going to teach you how to activate your Facebook pixel. Um, if you have a web developer, that's going to make this a lot easier. Um, if you don't, it's, it's still pretty straightforward. Uh, you're going to have to create what's called a Google Tag Manager account in both instances, whether you're working with a developer or not. So I will just go ahead and teach you how to do that. So you go to business.facebook.com and then you should get a page that looks like this. You want to head over to pixels with the pixel that we recently set up. There should not be two here. This was an error from Facebook. So click on the, the, the pixel that you actually created. In this case, this one is mine. You want to go over to open events manager in the upper right hand corner. And then you want to click on continue pixel setup. So we are going to be doing the meta pixel. Uh, not the conversions API, which is a more complicated setup process. Um, now, if you uh, have a web developer, at this stage you can click, simply click on email instructions and send it directly to them, and they will install this code directly onto your website. It's a totally fine way to do it. Um, if you're installing this yourself, the best way to do it is with Google Tag Manager. And so to do that, simply Google Tag Manager. Um, and then you want to basically follow the steps of creating an account. So if you're uh, to do this successfully, you're going to also have to remember the passwords, which we'll come back to on Facebook. So this, because I'm using a Google Chrome account, is automatically giving me a Tag Manager account right here. But if you're using Safari or a Microsoft product, um, you might need to create a Tag Manager account and then it'll allow you to get a screen that looks like this. Um, so save those passwords once you make the Tag Manager account and then you can create a, a new account. So I would just call this, um, you know, the Nicholas Platt website account because this, this becomes a Tag um, Manager account for your entire website type in the name of your website just for me it would be this I need to have the WW um, great it's asking me to accept some terms no problem so I guess this is another step you would have to also complete Again, easy to set up if you have a web developer. Um, if not, you're going to need to have access to your, your website, whether that's WordPress or Webflow or another website service provider. Um, you need, to, typically on some of these more template websites, it's also pretty easy to uh, set up a Google Tag Manager account. You can simply Google your website provider and how to set up and then follow those instructions. But you would need to copy this code into the header of your website and then place this into the body. WordPress makes this really easy to set up, um, as does Webflow. So hopefully it's not too complicated a process. But once that's set up, then your Tag Manager account is active. Now let's go back to the Facebook. Let's say you're continuing to set the pixel, you're doing it yourself. You click on MetaPixel, you click Connect, and you're going to say, I want to check for a partner integration like this. So we'll go down over here. Click on Google Tag Manager. I, uh, I also should should pause here for a second and say that there are other ways of integrating. So if you are working with Webflow or WordPress, um, you can integrate if you have the logins for your websites right here. Um, and there, these are the other partner accounts that you are also able to work with. I personally just like working with Google Tag Manager because it gives me a lot more flexibility um, to operate in. and it's it's just normally the way that I normally set up things, but you're welcome to if it's easier, simply use Webflow or WordPress. Then you go to Google Tag Manager, follow the steps. You're gonna log in. Looks good. I'm not going to test on this one because 
to set up the events is a step that Navigo will handle once we get access to your ad account. I just need uh, the owner of the pixel and the website to actually install the pixel onto their website. Hit finish and you should be done. So um, yeah, there's nothing more to it than that.